it's Sunday afternoon, it's double story time with Chesley and Karen, and she's the voice of me, and here we are. Yes, Chesley, here we are. It is so good to, to have our Bible story every Sunday afternoon. You know, I tell you what, it, it's the hot point of the day, get out of this stinky trunk. It's not a stinky trunk, that's a nice house you've got there. You you want to trade with me? No, I'm not trading, Chesley. I can't be folded up like that. Well, how do you think I like it? You know, I'm getting all stoled up. No, Chesley, you, you're doing fine. Uh, do you know how old I am? Well, Chesley, it doesn't matter. I know you used to be a tree, so I don't know. You're a lot. Yeah, that was many, many years ago, so I don't know. And did I tell you what? Now, here I am, and, and I'm a royal ranger. You are a royal ranger. And, and, and you know, Kai gave me some of his, his, uh, his uh, you know, his, uh, his medals. Yes, Kai, down in Waxhatchee, Texas, he... Uh, he he donated some of his medals, and he earned it, and I'm just wearing it. That's right. He earned them, and you're getting to wear them, but you are an honorary uh, Royal Ranger. And I like it. This gospel of training is taking a trick, taking a trick, it's taking a trick. This gospel of training is taking a trick, taking to the glory land. And get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, we can, justly by asking Jesus to come into our heart and our life. We want to live for him, love him, and serve him with joy and glory. Justly, that's right. And we want to tell others about him. And this is the way to live for Jesus. Live for Jesus. And justly, our story today, crippled beggar healed. There was a crippled beggar that was healed from Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Justly, we are so glad that everybody can hear this story tonight that is on here on, on Facebook, and then later on we'll put this on, on YouTube and Rundle and Twitter. That's right. Later today we will get those uploaded to those because we want everyone to know this story of Jesus. That's right. We want to talk about Jesus, and he he was good and kind and always helping us. He was always helping others. And Chesley, he is our good example. Yes, he is our good example. Chesley, here's so crippled beggar, beggar healed from Acts chapter 3, and that whole chapter talks about this, but we're going to specifically talk about Acts 3, 1 through 16. Chesley, so we'll set the story now. You know, I tell you what, and they just had a great revival. And something new happened. Yes, yeah, something new had happened. And we talk in the book of in Acts chapter 2 and verse 4, and how this Holy Spirit had come and had given a power to these people. You know, and I tell you what, they was going to be like Jesus. You know, he had empowered them, and they could be like him. No, the miracle, miracles could be done. So, Chesley, here it is now. They've been so happy. They've been rejoicing. And, you know, Jesus, now he's gone away. So here they are. And they are just, they just are full of faith and trust and confidence in God. And they see what he's done. And he said they could do it. He said they could do this, these same miracles. And so now here they were, Peter and John, and here they went up. You know, they left being good guys, good buddies. Yeah, I think they were probably good buddies. And they went up at about three o'clock in the afternoon. It was the hour of prayer. And here, and there was a man that had been lame since he was born. And here he was being carried along. And those that were going to bring him, his probably his family was going to. You know, he 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 didn't have the one of those little little carts. No, he didn't have a little cart. He, he didn't have the walker. He didn't have a walker. No, he didn't have anything like that. But Chesley, he had somebody had to carry him. It, it, you need didn't have that kind of stuff? No, Chelsea, to my knowledge, they didn't have that kind of stuff. It, you didn't live back then? No, I did not live back then, Chelsea. That was a long time. In hell are you? We're not talking about age, Chelsea. This is a good story. Now, Chelsea, let us don't get lost here. And so here this man, he was being carried. Did he done it all the time? Yes, they had seen him, no doubt, carried many. Many times, and they couldn't help him. And he needed some help. Chesley, what he was having to do because he couldn't work, he was begging. He was literally having dependent on people. Did you, did you get him the donation? He needed yes donations. And so as he was going along with this man, he he uh, you know he was really needing a donation. He saw Peter and John going to the temple, and he began to ask them about could they help him <laughs> and he had to tell him i don't have any money in the piggy bank no i don't know about his piggy bank but chesley he is what instead of what peter and john did along with john uh, peter they fixed their eyes on him did they get in his their eyes no chesley they didn't get in their eyes but talking about they looked at him very intently and you know they said look Look at us. What's going to happen now? And he said, they said, look at us. And so he looked at them and he thought, they're going to give me some money. No, and they just going to do a deep donation. I can have plenty to eat. He might have been thinking about it. They'd have plenty to eat. But instead, what they said, 
Peter said, I, I don't have any silver and gold. Uh -oh, you didn't know I'm going to be hungry. No, Jesse, before he could say anything like that, think that, he's, he said, I don't have silver and gold. But what I do have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Look, he can, he, he's critical. But you know what? Peter, he had faith and trust in God, and he had seen miracles done by Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus said that he could do those things. Jesus said they could do those things. Even after he left, and after his death and his resurrection, all I said, now, you can do these same things. And Peter believed it. No. And did John too? John believed it too. But Peter was the one. He was the spokesperson. You know what I mean? He was the guy that got hold of it. And he just sent it. He didn't wait. He didn't wait. He was ready. Jesus said they could do it. They had that same power. They could do it. It was Jesus. The power of Jesus. And he wasn't thinking that. No. No. It wasn't in them. It was fully trusting in Jesus. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. I don't. We don't have any money to give to you. And the Bible said he took him by the right hand and he raised him up and immediately his feet and his ankles, they received strength. And he jumped in, oh, just like, and he fell down. No, he did not fall down, Chesley. You know, I want to talk about this, the faith that Peter had when he said, rise up and walk. And he took him by the hand and pulled him up. And that man began to walk in because Peter had the faith and trust. Oh, he, got it. he believed what Jesus said. He believed what Jesus said and he acted on it. Oh, yeah, he didn't say, no, nah, this is supposed to work. I'm not sure then I'm going to test it. No, it wasn't that. He just knew it was going to happen because Jesus said. And that man, his feet, his ankles. They receive strength in them, and he began to lead. And what does he say? You read it right out of God's word. I'm going to read it right out of God's word. And with a leap, he stood upright, began to walk, and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people that saw that, oh, you know, they started to say, "Is that him? Is that really him?" And there was some probably said, yes, that is him. And others said, no, I don't think it is. It just looks like him. There might have been others that said, this is impossible. It couldn't be. There's people like that that won't, they don't trust. Even when Jesus performs a miracle through these people, he performed this miracle because they put their faith and trust in God. And you know what? Then I know what. That man had to accept it. That man had to accept it. That's right. You know, I've known pe some people when they when they prayed one to pray for them for their healing. Mm -mm, no, they said no. They didn't want to be prayed for. <laughs> I think they didn't want to get disappointed. They they may be thinking, well, I don't think it'll happen. Well, if they don't have any faith, it likely won't. Well, justly, that's right. But this man believed, and so Peter just put, took him by the hand, lifted him up. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. And he did. And that wasn't all he did. This man, he began to walk. And he entered the temple walking and leaping and praising God. He gave God the glory because Peter told him that. Yeah, Peter told him that. Don't look at us. He said, we didn't do it. He said, it's through the power of Jesus Christ. He's the one. Oh, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I tell you what, Jesus came to do good things. That's right, Justly. And he said that he would help us and that we could see miracles. And we know we don't see as many as we would like to see. Hey, do they see glory in other countries? I believe many times they do because those people there, when they tell them about Jesus, they have such faith. They believe immediately. I tell you, Chesley, this was wonderful. As people I saw this man walking and praising God. And some of the people were looking at, at, uh, at him and they said, you know, he sat here for years at this gate called the beautiful gate of the temple and he's been begging here and now he's not a there you know what i think he's gonna do what's he gonna do he's gonna say somebody teach me how to fish well he might be gonna be a fisherman and go out and learn to fish you know i tell you what he not now can be a carpenter he might can be a carpenter i don't know i don't know what his age was but i know this Jesus had healed him, and it had the attention he was the talk of the town. Yes, it was, Chesley, that a crippled beggar that had been there day after day, year after year. Oh, and he just took one person full of faith. Yes, those fellows went down, and the spokesperson there was Peter. You know, and John was, I believe he was in believing faith, too. Together they believed, and there that man was healed that day. A mighty miracle occurred. And you know, all the church people was really thrilled. Well, I tell you what, the people that loved Jesus and believed in him, you know what, that's what they did. They believed. That they believed. But then there were some of the people, I'm sorry, a lot of people in the church, they did, they did not. But let's just talk about this, the people that did believe. While this man was clinging to Peter and John, and, they, and he was so thankful that they'd had the faith that they would come to him. Him, that they didn't hesitate and say, you know, let's don't do it. You know, that, that, that's what they could have done. They, they, they could have said, you know, no, it not work. Jesus did it, but we can't do it. They might have, they could have done that. Well, 
Jesus said that we could, that, that greater things than he did, we did, that he would be with us. And But I just don't know. You know what they think that they could have said? Well, what, what could they have said? They, they could have said nothing now. Let's wait a later. Uh, you know, they could have done that. They could have talked themselves out of it. But they didn't. They had faith then. It's called now faith right now. Right now. They had the faith and trust and confidence in God to believe. And, you know, this is what, when the people were looking at Peter, someone were looking at him and said, oh, they, 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 they're, they're mighty men. No, oh, he said, he's all the damn Jesus. Don't count it on us. That's what they said. Oh, and we didn't do this on our own. And Peter saw the people. He said, men of Israel, why are you amazed at this? Or why do you gaze at us? Or as if by our own uh, power or piety we had that, that we, we caused him to walk. He said, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our father, his glory, and his servant, Jesus. He said, this is what has happened. You disowned him. He said, but I'll tell you what, the Lord Jesus, he is, he is the true son of God. And I tell you, he was calling on those people to look to Jesus. And he said, don't look to us. And he said, Lord, things are going to happen. More miracles were going to happen. He let them know this was just the beginning. Justly, I tell you what, that's what he said to, he told those people, let's read, read what is it right up, don't, don't just think of that, tell me, it says right here, Justly, he told them on the basis of faith in his name, that's talking about Jesus, he said, he, but in the faith of his name is, it is the name of Jesus which has strengthened this man whom you see and know, in the faith which comes through him, has given him this perfect help perfect health in the presence of all of you. This no secret thing. It's not any some kind of a, of a any kind of a magic thing. No, this is not magic. This is a real thing. This is from Jesus Christ, the son of God. Yes, Chesley. He was the healer. You know, he was the one that he gave life and strength and he was there to always minister and meet needs. And when he saw somebody in need like this, he was right there that he, he's gone away. He is gone. It's not that he's not alive. He is alive forevermore. But he's left us, empowered us, Chesley. You know, Oh, I tell you what, I'm glad that Peter believed. I'm glad that Peter and John believed, and they didn't try to take credit at all. If they had done that, that would have been no good. And I think Dennis Crow's watching. I see Dennis Crow is watching. <laughs> you know, something, you was telling me that someone else. Chesley, yes, this morning our speaker uh, was Brother David Hunter. And he told he told the whole church today that he watches you. No, he, he does he, he like me? Uh, I asked him after church. I said, so you watch Chesley? <laughs> oh, I tell you something. I tell you, uh, why don't you take me to church? Well, Chesley, you know we we you, this is here. This is we kind of have church here. And I, I look like the needy. Well, Chesley, I'm sorry you couldn't be there, but I see I I told him. And that I, we, I was glad that he watched and all. So he did tell me. So there are many people. And he's a grown man. Yes, he's a grown man. Yes, he, he is a preacher man that preached this morning. A very good message. So Chesley, I'm glad. And you know what? Jesus could even use a wooden critter like me. He can even use a wooden critter like you, Chesley. I'm so glad that we do get to work together and talk about Jesus and tell this wonderful story. The crippled beggar was healed because of Jesus. And his servant that believed. His servant that believed and had faith, trust, and confidence. Chesley lets that be us every day. That we truly believe and that we act on our faith. And right now, Chesley, yeah, I feel it coming on. I know what's here coming next. Well, what's coming next? You, you, you're going to stuff me in that trunk and you know there's skunks in there. No, there's no skunks in there. I think I saw a fox. You didn't see a fox, Chesley. No. Today we did find out there are some foxes in the little town down at Elgin. They're taking care of them. And they're sneaking in, in my trunk. No, they're not sneaking in your trunk. This is a stall job. Tell everybody goodbye. You look forward to seeing it. Next Sunday afternoon, this goes to the train. He's chugging at the train. Chesley and you are chugging the bed. We love you all. We're glad you were here with us. And we look forward to seeing you next Sunday afternoon. And it's going to be the third Sunday in July. The first Sunday in July. All right. Goodbye. We love you. Look forward to seeing you next Sunday afternoon.